Hi there, Rowan Cox here, and in this little video I'm going to be showing you all how to do uh, Facebook offers. Very, very important element of Facebook. This is basically the part that brings in money. So there's a lot about Facebook where it's all interaction and building up your fan base and um, relationship between the business and the customer, all that kind of social stuff. Now it's time to actually convert these fans into customers, bring them into your business. So we do this through Facebook offers. Now if we just scroll down you can see I'm at my uh, one of my web, uh, fan pages, Social Media Essentials. If we just scroll down uh, where you do the status update, uh, so you see status where you type a post, a photo or video if you want to upload a photo or video. And this third one is offer event or milestone. So offer here. Now you do need 100 fans or members uh, to be able to do this. Uh, so as you can see I have 144 here at the moment. Um, so if you have less than 100 this will be here but there'll be a little question mark and it, and it will basically say sorry this feature is not active uh, it's disabled until you get 100 fans once you get 100 members then it becomes active or enabled so to do an offer we simply click here and we have two options uh, in store so if you have a physical business like a restaurant um, an in store or online so if you have a website right so I have a website um, but uh, if you have a store, you would do this one. So, uh, in fact, let me do let me run through this one for you. I won't go all the way through it. I'll go to the last step and then I'll cancel out. So let's say it's in store. Okay. Um, so I've already uploaded an image actually uh, from my last offer. But basically, here is an image uh, edit offer image. So you can just upload a photo. Um, you know, just like as normal. So let's just do this one. It should be about an okay size. Yeah, I'll just go through yes at the moment just to um, the image. At least 300 pixels. Okay, so uh, let's choose another one. If this doesn't work, we'll just progress. Hopefully this works. I think it will. In fact, I think it's too big. So this is going to take a long time. Nope. Okay. Okay, so here is an image. Uh, so we just upload an image just as normal. Uh, upload. Then you need a headline. Okay. So I've already pre-made uh, all these steps. So let me just get the text thing. Here's a headline. I'll just control C for copy. Uh, we click it here, control V for paste, so there's a headline. So describe your offer, one of three. So this is the first step, okay? A headline and an image. Next step. Now, uh, redemption details, two of three. This is step two. Offer expires. When do you want it to expire? So let's just go with this at the moment. If not, you just choose whichever day you like here. Use the calendar add additional terms and conditions this is very important so we click here and again I've made pre-made the terms and conditions so here they are here so one two three here now number three is extremely important uh, in, say, in fact so is number two uh, number one here I'm just saying oh it's a free report it's, this is the value you would say it's whatever dish or uh, special that you have you would probably have the clause in there not um, not available in conjunction with any other specials or discounts uh, while while in stock or while available uh, but this one here this promotion is in no way sponsored endorsed or administered by or associated with Facebook very very important because that takes Facebook out of the equation of this offer so if anyone has any problems or issues with your offer Facebook are clear right they can't be sued so by adding that in there your offer can be um, 
uh, accepted quicker on Facebook, it can be exposed by more people and so on. Facebook likes this, they really want you to do this. Without this there could be some issues, your, your offer could even be rejected. So uh, we copy them, again Control C to copy those, uh, let's just paste them in there, Control V, Advanced Options, um, Redemption Code, we don't need one, Claim Limit, so a thousand or five thousand or custom and then you can type whatever you like but um, in most cases you basically want as many as possible uh, so long as you have in your terms and conditions while um, while available or must book first so we must make a booking and therefore you know how many people are coming um, if you really don't want to go that high you know just do 500 or 100 whatever you really want okay it's up to you a reminder, no we don't need a reminder, uh, in fact it's already set. Okay, the preview will be sent to your email address linked with this Facebook account, so that's mine, and then next. Okay, the final step now is your budget. Okay, and here um, Facebook always want to get money out of you, um, so they really beef it up there, but uh, you certainly don't need that, or at least I don't. Um, I go to around $50. Um, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, but around $50, you get a good amount of exposure. And basically the difference between these Facebook offers by um, promote, um, spending this advertising or not is like night and day. It's If you don't spend any money on this, only your fans w could see this. So I have a maximum exposure of 144 until people start to engage then it shares to their friends. So the likelihood of making um, a good profit out of this without promoting it, without paying, is very, very low, unless you have thousands upon thousands in here. So I highly recommend uh, doing a budget, probably around 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. So I would click that. Then target. And unfortunately, you can't do, you know, for example, um, Richmond or Footscray or Dandenong or something very very local you can only do within the city so Melbourne's fine we leave Melbourne if it's not checked you just uh, type a city so we say Melbourne it will highlight you click it and there it is there okay then uh, more targeting and scheduling options we click here who do you want to target men or women if you're at an establishment where mainly men go, click men only. If you're at an establishment where mainly women go, like a beautician, go click women. If it's a general one, click men and women. Why not? Who are you targeting? Do 13-year-olds come to your place? You know, if it's a bar, I don't think 13. You'd do minimum 18, right? So choose this according to the bulk of your demographic. Uh, so let's say it's a restaurant or bar where there's alcohol. 18 to 65, why not? Uh, when to post, I want to post it now, so I'm not going to change this. And then payment options. If you don't have a credit card on file um, within your Facebook account, add it there because they obviously need to charge you because you're going to pay money to them. Uh, so you can just click here to um, change your account, your visa and so on. Um, and that's it. Then you click post offer and it is live. Now note that I've changed these and sneakily Facebook have adjusted this again. So just double check this and make sure you're paying what you want and not what they want. So they're really, really pushing to get money in every way they can now, now that they're a public company, they're trying to make as much profit as possible. So uh, just double check it all, make sure it's all okay, then you click post offer, it's live. Now. In this case, the lowest option was $67. If that's more than what you really wanted to pay, monitor this. You can always pause this campaign, right? If you don't want to spend any money at all, they're forcing you to make it live and then go straight in there and pause the 
advertising so you don't spend anything right again I highly recommend you uh, do the lowest or around fifty dollars monitor it if you've spent twenty or thirty dollars and you don't see anyone coming in maybe uh, pause it if you have spent twenty or thirty dollars and a few people have come in that's brought in a hundred or two hundred keep it going right so uh, that's basically it um, hopefully this was useful